Will you raise your right hand? I swear by God the Almighty and Omniscient that I will speak the pure truth and withhold and add nothing. I do. Were you active in the United States Army in 1945 at the close of the war? Yes, I was. Were you in command of troops liberating concentration camps? I was. Were you in Dachau and Belsen? Yes. Were you present when the films we are about to see were taken? Yes, I was. shows the number of and location of concentration camps under the third wreck. Buchenwald concentration camp was founded in 1933. Its inmates numbered about 80,000. There was a motto at Buchenwald, break the body Break the spirit. Break the heart. The ovens of Buchenwald. Evidence of last minute efforts to dispose of bodies. The stoves were manufactured by a well-known company which also specialized in baking ovens. The name of the firm is clearly inscribed. An exhibit of byproducts of Buchenwald, displayed for the local townspeople by an Allied officer. Brushes of every description, shoes, adults and children, spectacles, gold from teeth melted down, sent once a month to the medical department of the Waffen SS, a lampshade made from human skin. Skin being used for paintings, many having an obscene nature. The heads of two Polish laborers shrunk into one-fifth their normal size. A human pelvis used as an ashtray. Children who'd been tattooed to mark them for eventual extermination. Sometimes mercy was shown to the children. They were injected with morphia so they'd be unconscious when hanged. One of the doctors described how they'd then place ropes around their necks. And in the doctor's own words, like pictures, they were then hanged by hooks on the walls. The bodies of those who'd come in boxcars, without food and without air, who hadn't survived the journey to Dachau. Hundreds of inmates were used as human guinea pigs for atrocious medical experiments. A witness at one of the executions at Dachau gave the following description. Inmates were made to leave their clothing on a rack. They were told they were going to take baths. Then the doors were locked. Tins of Cyclone B were released through the specially constructed apertures. You could hear the groaning and the whimpering inside. After two or three minutes, all was quiet. Death transports that had arrived included 90,000 from Slovakia, 65,000 from Greece, 
Eleven thousand from France. Ninety thousand from Holland. Four hundred thousand from Hungary. Two hundred fifty thousand from Poland and Upper Silesia. And one hundred thousand from Germany. And this is what was filmed when British troops liberated Belsen concentration camp. For sanitary reasons, a British bulldozer had to bury the bodies as quickly as possible. Who were the bodies? Members of every occupied country of Europe. Two-thirds of the Jews of Europe. Exterminated. More than six million. According to reports from the Nazis' own figures. But the real figure... No one knows. How dare they show us those films? How dare they? We are not executioners, we are judges. You do not think it was like that, do you? There were executions, yes, but nothing like that. Nothing at all. Paul! Paul! You ran those concentration camps. You and Eichmann. They say we killed millions of people. Millions of people. How could it be possible? Tell them. How could it be possible? It's possible. How? Oh. You mean technical? It all depends on your facilities. Say you have two chambers that accommodate 2,000 people apiece. Figure it out. It's possible to get rid of 10,000 in a half hour. You don't even need guards to do it. You can tell them they're going to take a shower, and then instead of the water, you turn on the gas. It's not the killing that is the problem. It's disposing of the bodies. That's the problem. <laughs> 